Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to PBS Sports. Today, we will be discussing Quidditch and baseball. Who controls America's past, present, and future? Stay tuned and you'll find out. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight with me are my two co-stars. To my right, we have Billy Hagford, a.k.a. Haggy. Now, Haggy is a former Quidditch player, two-time MVP World Cup champion, as well as the first American professional seeker. And to my left, we have Do Thomas Danker, who is a baseball analysis with two ex-wives, currently working on the third. In our first order of business tonight, Haggy will be discussing the origins of Quidditch and how it affects... I'm going to have to cut you off there, Brian. Or, yeah, your name's Brian. I don't even know your damn name. Okay, who gives a shit? Um, America, we love our Quidditch because we love fast things and we love hitting. That's because we love hitting them and then quitting them. That's why it's in Quidditch. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, and turning to Thomas, our baseball analysis, what do you have to say about the origins and the effects on baseball? Well, you see, Brian, America and, and baseball, they go together like apples and butter. You know, hot summer day, you got some apple, you got some butter, you put that together, mm, ain't nothing like mom cooking. You know what I'm saying? You, he knows what I'm saying. Interesting take on that, Thomas. It appears that um, neither of my questions were really answered, but um, we will just go ahead and move on with the show. Now, if each of you could tell me a little bit about the characters of each sport, starting with you. Well, I'm glad you asked that, Brian, because there's some characters in Quidditch. There was big old Waffle Joe. He always did these weird spells making waffles. It was cheating. You're not supposed to use many, any spells at all during Quidditch game. Refs didn't see it, though. I mean, you'd think wizards would be good refs, but never trust a wizard. They always break a, break a pinky problem. They always do. Now, Haggy, you brought up some interesting points. Um, Thomas, I'd ask you about the origins and the characteristics of baseball, but frankly, I don't care. So we're just going to go ahead and move on wow, into the discussion. You? Shut your mouth. We're going to move on into the discussion. Yeah, like Stop. Into the discussion of which one we think is better. Now, sure, Thomas, I'll let you go first, and you explain to me why baseball is the better of America's past, present, and future. Go. Well, Brian, frankly, baseball is America's past, present, and future. It, it was founded in the great country of the U.S. of A. And, you know, it's got everything America wants. It's got, it's got big stars. It's got bright lights, fireworks. And if you don't get caught by, you know, the authorities or your wife, a little drug using... And, you know, it's got everything you need to have a great time, you know, either sitting on a couch or going out with the family. It, it's just great. That's all I got to say. Which family are yours, Bassman? Well, how well, do I see Quidditch? It's not really the past of America, of course. I mean, it didn't really come over into America not, not too long ago. But it's, I, of course, is first grade American. Thank you, thank you. And the president, it is, it is making a stable spot, just like soccer did in America. Not really. Yeah, yeah, it took a while. It's not really there, but soccer in Quidditch, they're right on par in America. Yeah, I'm part but, of being a mosquito on a hot summer day when you're just trying to enjoy your apples and your butter, all right? That's probably enough out of you, Thomas. Still we'll finish the question. Right, thank you, Brian. You are just a swell man. Well, you see, the future. Of Quidditch in America is going to be fantastic because you're going to get me coaching. That's right. I just announced it. I'm coaching next year. Thank you. That's the end of my segment. So now, those questions again, possibly Can't avoided by each of my co-stars. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the drugs and the drug problems in each baseball as well as Quidditch. So, is it... Haggy, Haggy, could you tell me about the drug problems in the Quidditch world? Because I know there's a lot of them. Well, you do, of course, know about my serious meth and heroin addictions. When I was a player, of course, it was... You, know, you want to tell them about your crack bid? I, I, you just kept, kept smoking that pipe until you broke it? 
Then you had to wander the streets for three days. I am a days. changed man. Three days. I am a changed man. You could buy, well, was that your come I to am a Jesus? changed was man. Was that your come to Jesus? Well, you see, yeah, us, go ahead. us wizards go ahead with questions. know how to control ourselves now. What's going on because about the wizards? We found a spell. I'll fix tell it. you. I like you damn muggles. I'll tell you. You shit assholes. I'll tell you. What's dedication? That is Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter broke his ankle, all right? He didn't stop playing. He didn't stop playing. Even after they put him in left field, they told him, you're going to have to shag some fly balls. All right? He was sprinting all up and down left field and shagging balls. He got a golden glove. They just gave it to him. Middle of the season. The gold one. Gold you wonder why he got it. You heard about it. You heard about it. You wonder why he got that gold glove? Hitting Because he was taking the toad. He was, he was licking the, the toe. toe. He oh. was licking the toe. Oh, was he licking the toe? Okay. He was licking the toe. Now, how would you know? Thank you for um, both of you guys' inputs and different perspectives. Faggot! Okay, there. No, no, shut up, you piece of shit! I'm tired of this! You're just mad at me because I'm taking your third well, wife from you. the whole... The, th the third... I'm not even upset in the slightest about the third. I'll tell you what I'm upset about. I'm upset about the first one you took from me and the second one you took from me. Well, why don't I, why they're leaving and, you? I'm sorry, I'm, Brian, to cut you off. You're a swell dude, I'm, but I'm sorry. And, Shut up, you. Okay. You want to know why I right. take a, took the first this two is, this is and now I'm taking the third and I can't yeah, grasp the fourth? Yeah, what are you? The fourth? Little son's a faggot. Now, hold on. Well, this is yeah, all this, this, this is all because... Now, of course, there are some memorable matches on both sides of the equation. Um, I don't know who would like to start this off. Well, I'll tell you what, Brian. I'll take it from here. Sure memorable yeah. matchups. 1929 World Series. You got the Colorado Avalanche versus the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. So, best of seven series. You got Los Angeles win the first three. Then here comes LL Cool J saying not to call it a comeback. Because they win the next three. Game seven. Game's on the line. What is it? It's a walk-off home run. Well, that was Gary Sheffield. <laughs> yes, Gary Sheffield hits it straight off the arm of Daryl Strawberry. Very good. Very good, yeah. Thomas. Now, all of that, of course, was true. Um, Absolutely. So, thank you for that valuable information. Now, we're going to turn on over to Haggy and see what he has to say about some memorable Quidditch matchups. Well, you can never forget the old 1903 matchup of Ireland versus Fiji. No one ever expected the long, wrong underdog mm -hmm. Fiji team to make it that far. And they I did. Would've. It was also because they used dark magic. And that's that's a no-go. That's a no-go. But it added some memories. Mm. Like the Seeker turning into a toad mid-game. Death Eaters, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You, this was this guy knows his sports. Mm -hmm. That's why he's hosting PBS Sports. That's all I have for you. That's a good yeah, match. Very good, very good. I, I don't have little facts like this piece of shit, but, you know, it'll Excellent. Do. Now for this last question, we're going to throw both of our co-hosts here on a little bit of a curveball. <laughs> and let's say that your, your sport has been canceled and you must, defend, you must defend the other person's sport. I'm not going to do that. That is fucking stupid. Well, okay. Well, would you like to... Yeah, I'll go first. And I'm going to start off by saying, he already said that there are children here. And they're watching, and there's toddlers, and your your profanity I'm, level. I'm is sorry. Have you seen the movie French Maids Are My Friends? I'm gonna well, stop you no, right there. Wait. Okay, go ahead. All right. What kid? Gonna... That movie shows us what kid is up at three in the morning. Weirdo. So that's what. Go well, ahead. Just don't... go. Please go. All right. Go ahead. I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I'll go start ahead. off by opposing argument with the fact that you know, Quidditch has got some good things going for it. It's got you know teamwork. <laughs> It, it builds mm -hmm. friendships, it, it has towns and, and states just grouping together and rooting for a common purpose. And at the end of the day, that's what sport's all about, all right? Now that's, that's very good. That's yeah, very interesting. Okay. interesting you know what baseball is? It's a bring down for pussies. Well, come that's on. That's all it is. Let the man talk. Well, come There's on. no contact. Come on. They run in circles for no reason. Oh, they scored a run. Oh, oh, they scored a run. You get a little bat. We have we get we have bats on too. All you do is have one big bat. We have bats. We fly all over the place. You guys run on the ground. We in the air. In the air. 
We are in the air, well, motherfucker. No, we're no. playing with broken ankles. Okay. Well, you want to know what baseball players remind me of? Well, they remind me of Frenchmen. So that's why well, I told you about well, that's that. That's the how. Because they look pretty in their uniforms well, and they don't they accomplish so anything. Well, that's, they that's get all they even, you know these feather they dusters do. don't do anything. They are just swish, 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 swish. That is going to wrap up. Swish, 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 swish. You guys look like the legs of a man. Yeah, a little bit. Dysfunctional debate. Um, so kind of. Do you shave shave I'll those? say it once. I'll that say it twice. That looks like I shave those legs. A little bit. God bless America. You know, wax every now and again. Hopefully, you, you never hear from us again. Stab you on the goddamn shirt. Thank you. Yourself. And good night out there, PBS. Come on. Find us online at www. Yeah, that's not bad. Good night out there, PBS. Come on. Find us online at www.pbs.either.org or com. One of the two. Good night, America. Uh,